from the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Stephen Nerens. Some very pleasant temperatures again across green country today. Of course, what we could use even more is even more rain. As we all know, the drought is still a big time problem. Over the last few weeks, there have been some of our far eastern counties from, say, Grand Lake to Tahlequah, South Saw, Weber's Falls, some of these areas have had some beneficial rains at times. And of course, we get that uh, off and on with some of these summertime downpours. We need a more widespread rains, of course. Basically, I-40 to the south, extreme drought, and also a good portion of northeastern Oklahoma and southeastern Kansas. And really, the entire southern half of Oklahoma is where the worst of the drought has been maximized over the last month or two. But really, there's nowhere in the state, as you can tell, that's in good shape. Uh, uh, from a drought standpoint and just right on cue we do have a pretty good rainmaker that's going to spread across Oklahoma later this weekend Sunday and into Monday and it looks like some of the heaviest rains are going to be focused over this area where the drought has been the most widespread maybe not so much in our northern counties I'll explain that in just a second we just saw burn bans in quite a few counties across green country a few of these have been dropped over the last couple of days uh, but we still have them going across the Tulsa County uh, to, uh, across Tulsa County, I should say, portions of southeastern and northeastern Oklahoma. And again, fortunately, we do have better rain chances to come. As I've been mentioning throughout the newscast, Eufaula, it has basically been raining there more or less all day so far. These showers just have not left you guys alone. Finally moving to the east of town, you can see a few showers popping up in southern Pittsburgh County near McAllister. We'll continue to have this through the afternoon. Some very pop-up, you know, small downpours. You follow, you may still have some of those nearby. Wouldn't even be out of the question for a, a brief shower to kind of sneak its way up towards Tulsa later this afternoon. Wouldn't last too long, but I can't totally rule it out. Cloud cover to the south has obviously kept temperatures quite a bit cooler to the south where it's in the 70s. You follow, you've finally reached 70 after being in the 60s all day. But we've got 80s in northeastern Oklahoma with the sunshine. So that's slight chance for a pop-up shower and even in Tulsa uh, through the afternoon hours as we climb to the upper 80s, wind staying pretty light. We'll gradually drop back into the 70s later on by the late evening hours. So highs and cooler to the south, warmer to the north. Uh, through the late afternoon hours, that shower chance continues. Tomorrow morning, there's still going to be some of that lingering moisture and kind of pop-up shower activity, but it should be a couple counties further south down towards the Red River by that point. We'll be in the 60s and very nice to start off our Friday. Tomorrow afternoon, a little warmer, maybe a little on the hot side uh, as we get back to the low 90s from Tulsa to the west, 80s off to the east. And then late Friday, some storms developing across southeast Kansas. A few of those uh, will drop into southeastern, northeastern Oklahoma early Saturday morning, and that sets us on the path for a little more unsettled weather. Some off and on storms possible Saturday and as we roll into Sunday, this is the beginning of that more widespread rain, but just kind of the general trends. I want you to notice kind of the cutoff here. Now this may still drift north and south. But we've been seeing kind of a general cutoff that the further north you go from Sunday to Monday, the lower the rainfall amounts would be generally maybe an inch or less from Sunday to Monday north of Tulsa. Then you get into southeastern Oklahoma, it could be two to three inches of rain, if not more Sunday through the Monday time frame. So we'll continue to refine that, but uh, it does look like a good chance for rain for pretty much all of us on Sunday specifically uh, just you know keep in mind the further south you go the better the chances will be temperatures kind of up and down here uh, below normal today 90s Friday and Saturday back to rain cooled air on Sunday and then the rain chances eventually start to drop off or push further south early next week highs bounce back to the low 90s but again for this time of year certainly pretty manageable